My name is Kurt Sebastian. I'm the Dean of the School of Business Education and Mathematics. And I'm here to just wish you all really well, both the graduates and their families. My advice to you would be to, one, enjoy life. Two, take risks. When you, when you think that there's something that you can reach for and you want to go for it, don't be afraid to do it. I mean, life is short. Use your education that you got here at Flight Learning and just and, and, and charge forward. And we're just really proud of you. We all are really proud of you. We, this last year, what you've been through is not normal. So please accept my best wishes, and I just wish you all the best, and good luck in life. Hi, I'm Andrea McCook. I'm Dean of the School of Creative Arts and Letters, and I am here to congratulate all of our 2021 graduates. We are so proud of you, of all that you have achieved, especially given the circumstances that you've encountered this past year. You guys are strong, you're resilient, and we are so incredibly proud of you and excited to see where you go in the future. So go out there and seize the day. Hello, class of 2021. This is Judd Damon, Director of Athletics, and I'm just here to say congratulations to you. It's really incredible what you have achieved in the midst of these challenging times and all that we've all been through, but we're so proud of you for what you have done. We wish you great success and happiness uh, after Flagler, and we hope you'll always stay close touch with us. But I want to say a special congratulations to our student athletes who have battled this virus and gone through so much to be able to bring all of us in the Flagler College community great joy this year with your successes. But congratulations to all of the graduates, and I hope you have a great day today. Class of 2021, congratulations. If you've made it through this year, you can make it through anything. So I look forward to all the great accomplishments and achievements you will make for the rest of your life. Congratulations. My name is Melissa Southwell, and I'm the Dean of Humanities and Sciences. It is my pleasure to congratulate the class of 2021 on their graduation. Graduating in this particular year represents more than an academic achievement. It requires persistence, toughness, and adaptability. These are skills that will serve you well in your life. As you move forward from this day, I ask you to continue the intellectual journey that you have started with us here today. The world needs your scholarship and your voice. You are entering a world that is full of uncertainty, but you are well prepared for this. We have faith in you, and we are proud of you. Hello, Class 2021. This is Jin Hamik. I'm an assistant professor of communication. Congratulations to you all. This is a great accomplishment. I understand that you know for the past couple of years was a really unusual, um, difficult time for you guys. But you know you guys pulled through it like a champ. I I'm one proud professor, and I see you guys for the past four years really start blooming and then making accomplishments for the, your your degree. And then here we are. You're graduating. Congratulations again, and I wish you the best with your new chapter of your post-graduation. Hello, my name is Dr. Tracy Lissinger. I'm an assistant professor of psychology. I've been teaching for four years at Flagler College. Many of you have taken some of my intro classes. It's been a journey, and here we are today. This is your day. Enjoy this day. Be proud of your accomplishments and your academic achievements. So congratulations, class of 2021. Hi, everybody. I'm Dr. Basas. I'm the director of the undergraduate program in deaf education and the new director of the Center for Teaching and Learning. Um, so hello and congratulations for making it to this very, very important day, your graduation day. I am so proud of each and every one of you. I hope you enjoy this day with your family and friends. And today, think of today as the first day of your future uh, moving forward. So many congratulations to the class of 2021. Much love.
Good morning and welcome to uh, what truly promises to be a wonderful day. Um, I am Mark Vandenhouten. I am the interim dean of the faculty at Flagler College. We're going to begin our ceremony in just a couple of moments. But I just wanted to cover with all of you um, a couple of kind of ground rules or announcements. First, I obviously want to welcome everyone, including those who are participating and observing remotely, because we know people um, are not able to be here and are watching across the country and indeed across the world. These are obviously extraordinary circumstances, sir, a phrase you've heard countless times in the last 14 months, and you'll hear a number of times today. How that matters for us most importantly is I would just ask for um, patience on everyone's part, right? We are doing this under very different circumstances than we normally would have. Um, people work very hard at it, but of course there are a lot of moving parts, so I just want to ask for everyone's patience during the course of the ceremony today. Other specific ground rules, I'll ask that everyone stay seated, right? Um, during the course of the entire ceremony, I don't want, we don't want people congregating in the aisles. If you do need to get up to use the restroom, please, of course, do so. Um, we just ask that you move quickly um, to you get to the restroom and get back to your seat. Also, there are water stations to alleviate some of the discomfort on this very warm Florida day. Please do not hesitate also to use your seat and take advantage of that. Um, finally, although I am not wearing a mask, you'll notice today that speakers are the only people who will not wear masks. Everyone else is required to wear masks during the course of the entire ceremony, and I just ask that you do so. And then finally, when the ceremony is over, of course, to avoid excessive kind of clustering, we just ask that people move, right, relatively quickly to the, to the parking lot. Nevertheless, it will be an exciting day. Um, and just as the students have risen to the challenge of the pandemic, I know that today's ceremony will be a successful and enjoyable one. Thank you. We'll start shortly.
Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Please stand while Walker Mullen, a senior majoring in theater arts, performs our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave or the land of the free and the Wow. Wow, wow. Thank you, Walker. Please remain standing as Dr. Justin Capes, Assistant Press, uh, Professor of Philosophy, delivers our invocation. Graduates, today you celebrate the end of one chapter of your journey and embark upon the next. You are no doubt excited, but also a little nervous too, perhaps. So I want to share with you a passage from J.R.R. Tolkien's classic, The Lord of the Rings, that I hope will encourage you as you embark. Happy folks, or hobbits, to dwell near the shore of the sea, said Haldir. Tell me of those havens as we walk. I cannot, said Mary. I have never seen them. I have never been out of my own land before. And if I had known what the world outside was like, I don't think I should have had the heart to leave it. Not even to see fair Lothlorien, said Haldir. The world is indeed full of peril, and in it there are many dark places. But still, there is much that is fair. And though in all lands love is now mingled with grief, it grows perhaps the greater. Perhaps you, like Mary, are unsure whether you have the heart to go out into the world. After all, like the world of Middle-earth that Mary and the other hobbits inhabit, our own world is full of peril, and in it, too, there are many dark places. But that isn't the only feature that our sh world shares with that of Middle-earth. Our world, too, contains much that is fair. My earnest hope and prayer for each of you is that as you begin the next chapter of your journey, you would find that which is good, true, and beautiful in the world, and would share it with those near and far. And when grief darkens your doorstep, as it inevitably will, my prayer is that love would grow for you the greater. Please be seated. Good morning. I am Art Vandenhouten, the interim dean of academic, uh, interim dean of the faculty at Flagler College, and on behalf of the board of trustees, the administration, the faculty, and the staff of the college, I am pleased to welcome you to our spring 2021 commencement ceremony. 
Before we begin, let me offer some recognition to people who have genuinely earned it. First, to the Board of Trustees, we thank you. Unable to attend because of the social distancing requirements, they have offered important support throughout the journey of the last year. Without their guidance, without their support, we would not be able to have navigated this affair as successfully as we have. I'd also like to recognize Margot Thomas, the Senior Director of Alumni Relations and Special Events, her entire team who've worked tirelessly to allow us to have a face-to-face -face ceremony, to allow our graduates the opportunity to walk across the stage. For the graduates, no longer students, this commencement marks the conclusion of your academic and just as importantly personal journey at Flagler College. Today is your day and we are so honored to be able to share this momentous occasion with you. This has not been an easy final three semesters. The fact that you're seated here before us speaks volumes about your resilience, commitment, and dedication. You have not just lived through difficult times that history will chronicle, you've risen to meet the challenges of the moment. It is apt, therefore, that we gather today to acknowledge your journey, celebrate your success under extraordinary circumstances. You've worked hard to, re the, to meet the already rigorous challenges and requirements and standards of the college, as well as the expectations of our faculty. The diploma conferred today is a symbol of having successfully completed the requirements, of course, for a degree, but we are also more confident even than that with the assurance that every graduate is now well prepared to cross the threshold into their future lives. We are, of course, delighted that so many friends and family are here to celebrate this occasion, whether physically with us or remotely. In order to honor and support the men and women graduating today, to salute their achievements, to give them the hope and encouragement um, as they continue their life's journey on chosen careers or in pursuit of further education. Members of the class of 2021, I urge each of you, treasure this day, cherish this moment, value it, savor it, appreciate it, and feel it deeply. On behalf of so many at Flagler College, please accept my heartfelt congratulations on your achievement in reaching this milestone. With us today, of course, are also justly proud family members and friends who have contributed in significant ways to this occasion. All of you have played vital roles in helping today's graduates reach this moment with your support, your encouragement, and love. All that provided to them while confronting a global pandemic that surely imposed on all of you staggering pressures and forms too varied and too many. I must also recognize our talented, dedicated faculty and staff. You've demonstrated your commitment under pressure hard for many of us to fathom during these past 14 months. Yet you worked tirelessly to ensure that our students received an excellent education inside and outside the classroom so that they leave our college transformed in powerful and permanent ways. Just as with the graduates, families and friends, your efforts in these times were crucial to their success and you served, perhaps often unaware, as role models so that they could summon all that was needed to reach today. You have also therefore earned the thanks and gratitude of all of us who are here. Members of the class of 2021, enjoy this moment. Take pride in your great accomplishments, accomplishments that even this glittering and joyous day cannot fully capture. But as you sit here waiting to cross the stage and receive the diploma you have earned, Think with gratitude about those family, friends, faculty, and staff who have helped you arrive at this shining moment. It is now my privilege to introduce today's commencement speaker. Joe Joyner attended Florida State University on a football scholarship, graduating in 1977 with a BS in physical education. He holds master's and doctoral degrees in education from the University of Central Florida was selected the UCF Outstanding Alumnus in 2005 and an Alumnus of the Decade in 2007. Having served with distinction as the Superintendent of the St. John's County School District from 2003 to 2017, the district I would note was recognized in eight of those years as the best of Florida's 67 districts, Dr. and Mrs. Susan Joyner, herself an accomplished teacher and dedicated public servant, brought with them their deep and abiding commitment to the principle of servant leadership when he became only our fourth president in July of 2017. 
His, his tenure, characterized by his unstinting pursuit of excellence and his deep love for all of our students, has filled a rich catalog of accomplishment. A strategic plan that will guide the college at least until 2025 and perhaps beyond that has offered a compelling vision and core values that combined together have served as a compass for his leadership in the institution at large. His accomplishments as president also include the addition of majors that will help students learn to meet the challenges of the 21st century, as well as the opening of a new advising center and our Office of Diversity and Inclusion. All of these efforts, and others too many to name here today, have yielded fruits for us in retention and graduation, athletics and advancement, and in every corner of the life of the college. In short, his presidency has been one of success and significance, and we are deeply grateful for it. Won't you please join me in welcoming our commencement speaker, Dr. Joseph Joyner, the president of Flagler College. Thank you very much. I first want to thank uh, Flagler College and the Board of Trustees for the honor of delivering the commencement address. The truth is, I, I really wanted to speak the opportunity to speak to our students, but um, of course it's always preferable to be asked. The opportunity given to me by the Board to serve as your president these last four years is something I'm very grateful for and will never forget. To our faculty, you have my greatest admiration and respect. Teachers have always been my heroes. True in the essence of what servant leadership is, you know, we are a teaching college at Flagler. Transformative learning speaks to the imperative of the student-faculty relationship. In that I say, well done and thank you. To our parents and family members, I say thank you for entrusting your student to our care over the past four years. You obviously value education in your home and the fruit of that commitment sits before you today. I've said several times that in my 44 years in education, 37 in administration, that this past year is undoubtedly the most rewarding I've ever had. I know that sounds odd. It wasn't the easiest or the smoothest, but it was definitely the most rewarding. What I witnessed on campus from faculty, staff, and students was quite remarkable. People came together. They helped each other. They gave to those in need. Everyone putting aside their personal desires in order to assist, assist each other in navigating the many challenges we faced. And not only that, not only did we survive, we thrived. Quite remarkable. Most of my career has been in leadership, and I have come to the conclusion that we're all leaders. We all provide guidance and wisdom to influence those around us, some positively and some negatively. So what is my wish for you as you lead now and as your influence expands as you leave Flagler? Dr. Art Vanden Houten, our Vice President for Academic Affairs and Dean of the Faculty, shared a poem with me that really summarizes my wish for you. John O'Donohue, Irish teacher and poet, wrote this wish for a leader in his book to bless this space between us. It is indeed my wish for you. I'd like to read it through and then come back and unpack it a little bit. May you have the grace and wisdom to act kindly, learning to distinguish what is personal and what is not. May you be hospitable to criticism. May you never put yourself at the center of things. May you act not out of arrogance, but out of service. May you work on yourself, building up and refining the ways of your mind. May those who work for you know you see and respect them. May you learn to cultivate the art of presence in order to engage with those who meet you. When someone fails or disappoints you, may the graciousness with which you engage be their stairway to renewal and refinement. May you treasure the gifts of the mind 
through reading and creative thinking so that you continue as a servant of the frontier where the new will draw its enrichment for the old and you will never become a functionary. May you know the wisdom of deep listening, the healing of wholesome words, the encouragement of the appreciative gaze, the decorum of held dignity, the springtime edge of the bleak question. May you have a mind that loves frontiers so that you can evoke the bright fields that lie beyond the view of the regular eye. May you have good friends to mirror your blind spots and may leadership for you be a true adventure of growth. Let's take a moment to reflect on those elegant words by John Don O'Donohue. May you have the grace and wisdom to act kindly, learning to distinguish what is personal and what is not. I don't know about you, but it seems we've lost the grace and wisdom to act kindly somewhere along the way. Human beings, I think, are hardwired to be kind. I've had the opportunity to work with very young children over my career. Young children usually have to learn how to be unkind from others, and usually that's adults. May you be hospitable to criticism. The most important skill a leader can have, and the one most lacking today, is humility. You should, you should see criticism as a blessing of humility for you. Very hard to do, I might add, but the core of inner peace and maturity. May you never put yourself at the center of things. As a practical matter, people do not want to be around self-centered people. It's indeed the clearest path to making yourself and those around you miserable. <clears throat> May you act not out of arrogance, but out of service. Again, back to humility. I think I return to this because it's so incredibly absent today. Students don't confuse confidence, which we all need internally, with arrogance, which is an offensive display of self-importance, or worse yet, narcissism, which is an inordinate fascination with yourself. Inner confidence is a good thing. Arrogance is not. May you work on yourself, building up and refining the ways of your mind. That's lifelong learning and a commitment to continuous improvement, passion to get better. May those who work for you know you see and respect them. By the way, we all have people who work for us. I was speaking to our Student Leadership Academy and I asked them, those of you who live in the residence halls, do you know the housekeeper who empties your trash? Do you know the person who serves you in the dining hall? Better yet, do you see them? May you learn to cultivate the art of presence in order to engage with those who meet you. Mike Mason wrote a book I recommend called Practicing the Presence of People. Are you seeing people or are you just looking at your phone? Just saw a bunch of heads look up. Just kidding. When someone fails or disappoints you, may the graciousness with which you engage be their stairway to renewal and refinement. People make mistakes, I've made many in my career, in my life, and I'm grateful for those who chose to show mercy to me. As a leader, you can either coerce or persuade. You will get your way either way with both. One is based in fear, the other is based in belief. May you treasure the gifts of the mind through reading and creative thinking so that you continue as a servant of the frontier where the new will draw its enrichment from the old and you never become a functionary. You know, if your college education has taught you anything, that's it. Your passion leads to creativity. You know, this next stanza really blows me away. I think about where we've been over the past year. You think about the elections, the social unrest, the pandemic. Think about the life you've lived over the past 13 months and listen carefully to this. May you know the wisdom of deep listening, the healing of wholesome words, the encouragement of the appreciative gaze, 
the decorum of held dignity and the springtime edge of the bleak question. You know, word, words can heal or crush a heart. May you have a mind that loves frontiers so that you can evoke the bright fields that lie beyond the regular eye. I love frontiers. I love strategic planning, envisioning, because it allows you to look at what we can truly become as a college. Whatever path you take, look to the frontier. Don't limit yourself to the current state of things. May you have good friends to mirror your blind spots. We all have blind spots, call them biases or whatever you want. They are blind spots. Your friends will change and evolve over time. True friends will lovingly show you your blind spots. May leadership for you be a true adventure of growth. You know, it really has been for me, and that is my hope for you. The opportunity to live out my purpose and align my inner self with my job can only be called a blessing. Thank you, John O'Donohue, for those beautiful words. You know, I'm going to miss you. I'll miss seeing you laugh in the dining hall, studying the library and on the West Lawn, skateboarding by my house, scurrying to class because you're late. I'll miss all of that, and you will too. <clears throat> but mostly I will miss you. My favorite days have always been watching you perform artistically, compete athletically, demonstrate your incredible academic talent and scholarship. Two hurricanes and a pandemic could never dampen your spirit. You demonstrated our core values of transformative learning, respectful and inclusive community, citizenship with integrity, and thoughtful stewardship in everything that you did. In many ways, your leadership over the past four years preserved Flagler College for our future students. Those who think college students are selfish or lack resilience have not been around here. And I'm confident that every student I hand a diploma to is prepared to meet the challenge of the futures. You could have quit, but you didn't. I don't have the words to describe how proud I am of this class. When you were freshmen, and during our convocation in 2017, I encouraged, you, I encouraged you to demonstrate extraordinary grit. Borrowing from Angela Duckworth's book and definition of grit, as being the intersection of passion and per, uh, perseverance, little did I know that circumstances would provide you the opportunity to demonstrate that in such a profound way. So the class of 2021 will always be my favorite class. Virtually the best class of all time. Sorry about that. You are special to me because we came in together four years ago. and We'll be going out together. But even more so, you're special because of what you have done. This class exemplifies everything that is good about Flagler College. And I feel fortunate that I was able to spend this time with you. Just know this, I love each and every one of you and wish you nothing but the best. I have many people to thank for what I already said was a blessed career. And this is my last speech. So many, including students, believed in me fought for me and gave me a chance. But now I want to especially live up, lift up my wife, Susan, for her undying support. And in, thank you. For her undying support and encouragement through 45 years of marriage and 45 years in education, you have been my rock, my foundation, in good times, you kept me humble, and in bad times, you provided the encouragement I needed to get me through. Always taking the support role, of course, except when you were in your classroom, where you remained the best teacher I've ever seen. I loved you when I first met you when we were 14, and I will love you till my last breath. Class of 2021, 
Congratulations on a very special achievement. I hope you remember this experience fondly for the rest of your life and that you take our hopes and prayers for a life well lived. May God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you for your beautiful remarks, Dr. Joyner. I am now honored and privileged to award to you the Honorary Doctor of Humane, Humane Letters degree. Dean Welfel, will you please escort Dr. Joyner to the podium? President Joyner, we are grateful for your participation in our commencement ceremony today. You've honored us with your presence and just as importantly, inspired us with your words. Moreover, as you head off to retirement, we thank you for your presidency as you led us with courage and love during surely what is one of the most challenging chapters in our history. In recognition, therefore, of your lasting legacy to Flagler College, its faculty, staff, and students, and your compelling career as a servant leader, I am pleased and honored to confer upon you the degree of Doctor of Humane Letters. Forgive me. <laughs> because final grades are not due to the Office of the Registrar until the Friday prior to commencement, the names of our honor graduates do not appear in the printed program. Those students who have distinguished themselves with exceptional academic achievement today wear the red and gold honors cords. Students who have earned the cum laude distinction have an overall grade point average of 3.5 to 3.69. As your name is called, will each student please rise and remain standing until all of our students have been acknowledged. I ask that you all please hold your applause until all of these students are recognized. Logan David Asher. Kate Elizabeth Barker. Leslie Laura Bacaud. Ben Becker. Kateri Bell. Julia Mary Beth Brown, Jennifer Christ, Sheridan Ray Connell, Michael Dishman, Juliana Hughes, Annalie Ruth Lahiri, Peter J. H. Lane, Natasha Marie Latour, Lorianne Love, Amanda Maribel, Bailey McGovern, Camille Angela Montano, Noelle Elizabeth Riley, Zabina Silva, Richard Jacob Tarr, Lauren Thomas, Victoria Elizabeth Troop, Alyssa Volak. Please join me in honoring these students. Please be seated. Students who have earned the magna cum laude distinction have an overall grade point average of 3.7 to 3.89. Will each student please rise and remain standing until all of these students have been acknowledged? And again, please hold your applause until all of the students have been recognized. Stacia Allers. Maria Amelia Baca, Devin Bachmeyer, Allison Bish, Ansley Brodsky, Emma Card, Patricia Cheney, Tyler Cooper Kolb, Allison Davis, Carmen Drummond, Sarah Lisa DeBell, 
Anne-Marie Fox, Kenneth Gordon, Stella Hackler, Tana Henry, Cheyenne Elizabeth James, Taylor Latulip, Hannah Lilly, Darby Louder, Walker Mullen, Caroline Pierce, Nicole Spicer, and Emily Sponegel. Please join me in honoring these students. Please be seated. Students who have earned the highest distinction, summa cum laude, have an overall grade point average of 3.9 to a perfect 4.0. Will each student please rise and remain standing until all of these students have been acknowledged? And again, please hold your applause until all of the students have been recognized. Elise Araujo. Caleb Arsenault. Pia Barlota, Patricia Bishop, Emily Brannon, Zachariah Brown, Emma Bird, Sabrina Gutierrez, Megan Lipak. Clark Levi, Valerie Manfredi, Ashlyn Moretti, Alyssa Ruby, Sarah Anna Linnea Sandberg, Madison Simons, Tatum Seibert, and Paige Toth. Please join me in honoring these students. And please be seated. In addition to graduates with honors, Flagler College also confers departmental awards for academic achievement. These awards are made by the individual academic departments. Primary consideration for these awards is based upon academic achievement. However, other contributing factors are considered. Awards are given to selected members of the department who rank in the top 10% of the graduating seniors for the academic year. Some departments chose to make awards in the fall, other departments elected to make their awards in this spring. As the recipients' names are, ple are called, please rise and remain standing until all the recipients have been acknowledged. Again, I ask that you hold your applause until all students have been recognized. From the Department of Behavioral Sciences, Maria Amelia Baca, Emily Brannon, Sabrina Gutierrez, Tana Henry, Valerie Manfredi, Sarah Sandberg, Tatum Seibert. From the Department of English, Sheridan Connell. From the Department of Humanities, Patricia Bishop, Zachariah Brown, Patricia Cheney, Rosalind Elaine Finch, Cheyenne Koth, Aniela Lahiri. From the Department of the Natural Sciences, Tyler Cooper Kolb, Kira Ledke. From the Department of Visual and Performing Arts, Elise Arahujo, Pia Barlotta, Anne Marie Fox. Please join me in Anne honoring Clark Levi. Sorry, there's a late edition. Thank you. 
Please join me in honoring these students. Each year, the, the president of the college selects students in recognition of their achievement during their time at Flagler College in areas of leadership and service. This year, the president's award for excellence in leadership goes to Kobe Sparrows. And the President's Award for Excellence in Service goes to Patricia Cheney. When this class enrolled at Flagler College, they attended a convocation ceremony where they held aloft a railroad spike. The spike symbolized not only the namesake of Henry Flagler, it also symbolized our encouragement to those new students to begin to build their legacy. Today, after the graduates received their diploma from President Joyner, Dr. Sandra Miles, Vice President of Student Affairs, will present them with a ceremonial spike to remind and encourage them to create their own legacy. Will the graduates please rise and come forward to receive your diplomas? Graduates of the Flagler College Honors Program will be recognized first in today's ceremony. Members of Alpha Chi, the college-wide academic honor society, are designated through the wearing of a medallion on a green and blue ribbon. Students who are members of honor societies from their academic majors are wearing cords, pins, or stoles from those societies. Veterans and those currently serving wear red, white, and blue colored honor cords, and we thank them for their service to the nation. President Joyner, upon the recommendation of the faculty, I present to you these candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Fine Arts, and Bachelor of Science. For the graduates of the Honors Program, Elise Ara Ahuja, Summa Cum Laude. Ansley Caden Brodsky, Magna Cum Laude. Patricia Cheney, magna cum laude. Tyler Cooper Kolb, magna cum laude. Kenneth Gordon, magna cum laude. Megan Leepak, summa cum laude. Clark Levy, summa cum laude. Darby Nicole Louder, Magna Cum Laude. Zoe Mooney.
Caroline Mary Pierce, magna cum laude. Madison Simons, summa cum laude. Nicole Faye Spicer, magna cum laude. Christine Toth, summa cum laude. This concludes the graduates of our honors program. Candidates for bachelor's degree. Paige Marie Adam. Stacia Allers, magna cum laude. Alonzo. Shelby Applegate. Caleb Arsenault, summa cum laude. Logan David Asher, cum laude. Maria Amelia Baca, magna cum laude. Devin Xavier Bachmeyer, magna cum laude. Austin B. Banken. Gabriella Barbaro. Angelina Karina Berea. Kate Elizabeth Barker, cum laude. Pia Barlotta, summa cum laude. Leela Barwick. Jillian Bauer. Peyton Nicole Beasley. <laughs> Leslie Laura Bacard, cum laude. <laughs> ben
Ben Becker, cum laude. Aaron Beatty. Kateri Bell, cum laude. Anna Elizabeth Bailey Betancourt. Allison Francis Bish, magna cum laude. Patricia Irene Bishop. Summa cum laude. Trent Lawson Bortz. Maggie Boslovitz. Carly Bostwick. Morgan Renee Bott. Daniela Alessandra Buzon. Blair Bowen. Emily Ann Brannon, summa cum laude. Ryan Matthew Brennan. Julia Mary Beth Brown, cum laude. Zachariah Brown, summa cum laude. Ryan W. Bunga. Bradley A. Bernie. Haven Christina Bernie. Emma Bird, summa cum laude. Sarah Burnside. Jane Kinsman Cabanus. Sophia Campofiore.
Emma Michelle Card, magna cum laude. Lane Julia Carey. Trinity Carmichael. Avalon Tiffany Cartier. Arabella Casson. Faith Castro. Nicole Sharon. Jennifer Christ, cum laude. Sarah Lynn Sierri. Tatiana Clover. Camry Christian Convoy. Sheridan Ray Connell, cum laude. Noah Cook. Jera Elena Cornick Turpin. Sage Christian Cornick Turpin. Spencer Cowart. Sarah Crandall. Amanda Rebecca Cruz. Ryan Crystal Victoria Cronin. Jocelyn Cotolo. Allison Davis, magna cum laude. McKinley Lynn Davis. Randall Lonnie Day. Cristalis de los Santos Morales. Allison Caroline Dean.
Tatiana Giselle Dieges. Michael Gabriel Dishman, cum laude. Samantha Donnelly. Carmen Reed Drummond, magna cum laude. Sarah Lisa Dubell, magna cum laude. Rory Edwards. Olivia Eggert. Nicholas J. Esposito. Shane Marshall Falk. Colton Jess Fenley. Rosalind Elaine Finch. Autumn Forget. Anne Marie Fox, Magna Cum Laude. Luke Gerard Fraga. Ryan Scott Frederick. Ryan Philip Fritz. Passion McKinley Gabbard. Dylan Edward Gabor. Molly Catherine Gadowski. Maria Fernanda Gamino. Jasmine Alexis Garrido. Naja Gerald. Kaylee Geske.
Ira Elise Gibson. Ashley Goldman. Gabriel Alexander Greenberg. Jamie Nicole Greenwood. Caitlin Gumir. Chase Gunderson. Sabrina Gutierrez, summa cum laude. Stella Hackler, magna cum laude. Ella Teresa Hagen. Abigail Hayes. Lillian Josephine Hayward. Veronica Horan. Gwendolyn Horton. Allison Joe Horwich. Juliana Hughes, cum laude. Cheyenne Elizabeth James, magna cum laude. Zane Gerard. Reese Calico. Jacob Kaufman. Madeline Healy. Jordan Sumner Kenefick. Kelsey Kearns. Daniel King. Haley Curran. 
Zelensky. Michaela Dawn Knowles. Lauren Marie Coft. Cheyenne Brennan Coft. Anelia Lahiri, cum laude. Peter J. H. Lane, cum laude. Connor Laspina. Natasha Marie Latour, cum laude. Taylor Lynn Latulip, magna cum laude. Michelle Nicole Legan. Lindsay Leroy. Uma Levine. Kira Ledke. <laughs> Hannah Lily Magna Cum Laude. Lori Ann Love. Cassidy Ray McDonald. Valerie Ann Manfredi, summa cum laude. Ethan Cross Mansana. Amanda Nicole Mirabal, cum laude. Macy Marshall. Sydney Mathis. Hannah Madaliano. Ashlyn T. Moretti, summa cum laude. Skya Lafon Mayo.
Joseph Seneca McCann II. Rachel Elizabeth McDonald. Bailey McGovern, cum laude. Timory McKenney. Jaden McLean. Catherine Little Mecklen. Logan Miller. Angela Montano, cum laude. Alexandra Nelda Moreira. Walker Mullen, magna cum laude. Ryan James Muscarella. Brianna Mackenzie Neal. Corey Nelson. Alexia Kincaid Nobles. Nathaniel Ortegon. Hannah Patrick. Adrian Pena. Catherine Penny. Allison Perry. Emily Grace Provost. Stephen David Ramos Heiliger. Madison Taylor Reese. Maxwell Woodson Reeds. Noelle Elizabeth Riley, cum laude.
Kayla Restivo. Caroline Larson Riley. Dylan Luis Rodriguez. Danielle Nicole Roeder. Jordan Atlanta Rowan. Nicholas Royer. Alyssa Labelle Ruby, summa cum laude. Margaret Ruthven. Sarah Anna Linnea Sandberg, summa cum laude. John Alexander Sandlin. Zachary Robert Schuster. Byron Schofield. Anna Elizabeth Selzer. Frided Elizabeth Shackles. Haley Melissa Short. Lillian Ray Shropshire. Sarah Cedor. Sabina Silva, cum laude. Jasmine Sylvan Noinen. Alexandra Jane Simon. Jillian Ann Sinagra. Faith Noel Smith. Madison, Virginia, Lynn Smith. Mark Smith.
Kobe Lorenz Spiros. Emily Catherine Sponogel, magna cum laude. Paige Dunnigan. Maya J. Stanton. Reagan Candler Swift. Tatum Elizabeth Seibert, summa cum laude. Star. Richard Jacob Tar, cum laude. Lauren Elizabeth Thomas, cum laude. Grace Marie Thompson. Victoria Elizabeth Troop, cum laude. Samuel Vigno. Alyssa Volak, cum laude. Christina Nicole Wafi. Jet Walsh. Macy Lynn Watkins. Marquise Williams. Alexandra Marie Willis. Jonquesa P. Wilson. Jonathan M. Wolf. Emily Eden Warax. Ya Yang. Emily Catherine Zink. Mm -hmm. 
and Chase Gunderson. Thank you, and now for the official conferring of the degree. Will all of the candidates for the bachelor's degree please rise? Upon the recommendation of the faculty and by the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Flagler College, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Bachelor of Arts and or Bachelor of Fine Arts with all rights, honors, and privileges thereunto appertaining. I extend to each of you my warmest congratulations and best wishes on this milestone achievement. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in congratulating the class of 2021. Thank you, you may be seated. I now call on Hannah Lilly, who's been selected to make remarks on behalf of the class of 2021. Hannah didn't have to travel far down A1A to join Flagler, having grown up in Ponte Vedra. Hannah is graduating with a degree in political science with a minor in pre-law and management information systems. She intends to pursue her master's degree after graduation followed by Juris Doctorate. Hannah was selected among many worthy candidates to represent the graduating class. Please join me in welcoming to the podium, Hannah Lilly. Dr. Joyner, family, friends, professors, loved ones, faculty, staff, and those with us virtually from the live stream. Thank you for being with the class of 2021 as we celebrate this momentous milestone. To my fellow graduates, congratulations, we did it. Despite the numerous uncertainties that were propelled at each of us during under our undergraduate years, from hurricanes, political and civil unrest, and even a global pandemic that introduced us to Zoom meetings, we each made it to this day that celebrates our achievements. A huge factor contributing to our development is the unparalleled support of the Flagler faculty, staff, administration, and our fellow peers. The Flagler community is unique in its ability to bring together a diverse group of people and establish lifelong friendships. Not many colleges are able to boast about exceptional activities like Harry Potter Week, where the dining hall is transformed into the Great Hall, midnight breakfast with waffles and pancakes being offered in the early hours of the morning, or inflatable bouncy houses scattered throughout the West Lawn and a mechanical alligator ride for de-stress day. At the same time, 
No other college has a student body with resilient connections to, prof with resilient connections to professors who are eager to support us, not only as mentors in our academics, but in our preparations for our career and in life. The instant energy boost of seeing smiling faces of staff members in the student center when purchasing your daily coffee, and the security officers as they wave hello to us while whizzing on their goodbye and their golf carts, or even Dr. Joyner's friendly presence during his regular walks around campus asking us how our day was. When we first entered Flagler College during orientation, each of us sitting next to one another in the Lewis Auditorium for convocation, listening intently to keynote speakers and faculty welcoming us with open arms for a home for the next four years, an unmistakable phrase was mentioned to all of us, build your legacy. Hearing those words as young freshmen, many of us did not know what it truly entailed. After all, we were still adjusting to life away from home for the first time, as well as attempting to figure out the best route to not be late for our class when sprinting from Pollard Hall to the library. But since that moment in the auditorium, each of us began establishing our individual legacy that would last a lifetime. We have engrossed ourselves in innovative re research projects, participated in volunteer clubs and organizations, studied abroad in immersive cultures, and took the helm of movements that seek to establish change in our communities. When Henry Flagler first arrived to St. Augustine, he was faced with the unknown in his prospects of developing Florida. Flagler believed in his vision of transforming the coastal landscape and readily took the risk of leaving his position on the board of directors of Standard Oil to focus on his dream of establishing the foundation of a booming economic and tourist hub. Flagler persevered by creating something out of nothing. Henry Flagler's legacy impacts us all with his fearlessness of chasing the future. As we enter the next chapter of our lives, please keep in mind that the legacy we started constructing in the Lewis Auditorium four years ago continues on for the rest of our lives. Just like Henry Flagler, we should not be afraid of the unknown, but be willing and ready to face it head on. Our legacy does not just end with the submission of our final projects and papers in the classroom, our legacy prospers on as we leave the amphitheater today, diploma in hand, and fond memories in our hearts, and enter the world. We each will go on our own adventure, be it continuing our education and graduate studies, moving to a new city, or starting a dream job in our aspiring career paths. Along our graduating class's journey, I implore each of us to continuously de develop our legacy for good by utilizing our passion spark higher flagler to be applied in the world around us and to use our voices to empower the most marginalized for the benefit of society. Whether you're a coastal environmental science major that encourages natural resource management for the protection of the planet, hold a history degree to shed light on the impact of past events and how it influences the future, or a political scientist eager to lobby for policies that better address the needs of citizens. Each of us is tasked with utilizing our degree for the greater good. Flagler College's mission holds the values of fostering an exceptional education through a challenging, inclusive, and supportive academic community. Each of us will continue to be role models that embody these values to the fullest as we become engaging global citizens in our respective career paths. While we each embark into exciting directions, we will always be connected back to Flagler College and to the, root, and to the roots where our legacy was initially established. Flagler graduates are not a number in the sea of society, but a name that seeks to make a difference. Our legacy continues on, and I am eager for us to strive towards our future as Flagler alumni, ready to make our mark. Thank you and congratulations, class of 2021.
Thank you, Hannah. That was absolutely beautiful. Now that you are alumni of Flagler College, this Margot Thomas, class of 2006 and senior director of alumni relations and special events, wishes to extend to you a welcome from your alumni association, Ms. Thomas. Hi, graduates. As you may have noticed in the program, I'm here to speak to you a bit unexpectedly, um, but that's one constant of the last 18 months. Things are not going to go as planned. Uh, alumni board president Michelle Vagan does send you her warm wishes since she couldn't be here today. But I assure you I am qualified to give this speech. I may work at Flagler, but I did graduate 15 years ago as a member of the class of 2006. And to you, I want to say on behalf of our 20,000 alumni, welcome. Welcome to the Alumni Association. We are so proud to have you. As you have heard from Hannah and Dr. Joyner and all of our speakers today, You've defied the odds. You signed up for a four-year residential experience with face-to-face -face classes. Instead, you got two normal years and whatever you would call the last 14 months, which included abruptly moving home, learning from a laptop, and for a while, losing that face-to-face -face mentoring that defines Flagler College. Many of you have told me, in no uncertain terms, that these past few weeks, you have felt disappointed, you have felt lost in finishing college like this, that these 14 months were not what you were promised, what you expected, or what you wanted. Having been in the real world for 15 years since my own graduation, I guess I should be telling you with a smug smirk, oh, you just wait, you haven't seen anything yet. But that's not true. You're right. These last 14 months have been hard, not just for you, but for your families watching you adapt. Proud of your grit and determination to finish and probably quietly frustrated that your foundational college experience has taken such an unexpected turn. Study abroad, canceled. Senior soiree, canceled. Wednesday donuts, canceled. Hugs and high fives, canceled. But a life lesson many alumni would share with you is this. In order to truly embrace life after college, to reach your potential and to embrace what we say at Flagler, a life well lived, you have to embrace adversity. Ask Flagler graduate Mark Craddock about a life well lived. While snorkeling in 2014, he was hit by a speedboat going 60 miles an hour, critically injured and only saved by the fact that his snorkeling partner was a medic, spending weeks in the hospital. Now, you might catch a glimpse of him running down St. Augustine Beach or at a local yoga class. He recently gifted Flagler College the beautiful labyrinth behind the art museum for all to enjoy and find quiet moments of contemplation. Or ask Flagler College graduate Viv Helwig, who is only 35 years old and owns one of the fastest growing companies in Florida. Ask him about the humbling experience of applying for a part-time job at Target in order to support his young family and make ends meet during the early years of, start of a startup that had yet to turn a profit. Ask yourself today, what is your alumni story going to be? And how will adversity be a part of your story? You leave here today with a degree and an education, but you also leave here today with something so much more. You have learned how to persevere despite setbacks. No one, especially me, expects you to have anything figured out today. You have a new, tough journey right in front of you. However, I do expect you to keep Flagler close and draw your strength from your experience here. This will always be your home your safe space, your community. And when adversity turns into your origin story, please give us a call. So today we celebrate. Flagler College embraces you and your promotion to alumni. As alumni, we need you to stay in touch. Update your address, come back to Alumni Weekend, join our Facebook page, follow us on Instagram, wear your Flagler shirt proudly. When you are able, 
make a gift to a scholarship fund that you benefited from while you were here as a student. I can't wait to tell your story someday. You are already making Flagler so proud. Welcome to the Alumni Association Class of 2021. Congratulations and Godspeed. Thank you, Margo. <clears throat> As we come to the close of commencement ceremony, it's time to bid you a fond farewell. May your years ahead be filled with happiness, success, and a sense of fulfillment in all that you do. You go with the pride of this institution, with our admiration and respect, and with our hopes and aspirations for you in the future. And while we say goodbye for now, we hope to see you at alumni events in the future. Flagler College will always be your college home. To help celebrate your college home, I'm excited to invite you to participate in a group singing of our alma mater, page 32 in your program. The alma mater was written by professors Kip Tazy and Craig Wolfel in honor of the college's 50th anniversary and is dedicated to the memory of Mr. John D. Bailey, Sr. Will everyone please rise as we sing our alma mater together, led by the Flagler College Chamber Choir. Please remain standing through the benediction by Dr. Capes and the recessional. It's time, graduates, time for you to embark on the next chapter of your journey, to venture out into the world, a world, I remind you, that is full of peril, grief, and darkness, but also full of great beauty, joy, and light. Go out now and find that which is beautiful. Bring joy in the midst of grief, light to the dark places, and as you do, I pray that the creator of all beauty, joy, and light will be with you and those you love now and forevermore. Amen. Mm -hmm.